Uh, see the the big thing on the the big thing on your budwood <laughs> is that you need to um I enough is yeah. there would there be any reason to like use the variety. tips that you cut off yeah, as bud root? But no, it doesn't work well because so one of the things that we do is um like I like. Budwood that is starting to to firm up a little bit like that. I know that thing is getting ready to flush, so I know that's good. Um, but I tend to like to graft. I'll show you about the length that I like. By the way, these are filled with uh, thrips. I would say creatures, oh. and they're fi it's fine. I mean, that this this time of Threads year don't bother you. No, in, under our climate, under this humidity, it's not a problem. But in uh, in dry places, it is. So that's too long of a bud stick. Normally, I like it that like that. Stuff. Yeah, that's kind of the, and that just comes from years and years and years of doing the same thing. And the, the black doesn't. Isn't significant no. on it. That doesn't. That's a little bit of sooty mold. That's, that's it? all it is. Yeah. Okay. So when you put it onto the tree that you grafted it onto, does it make a difference how far up that limb? Yeah, I got it. You put it? No, okay. not gonna, really. Um, I tend to. Do with it? I, I tend to, to like to. Sure. I don't know. I. I okay. As long I just try to get the Your right size to match. So you're looking for diameter, diameter, diameter more than any. Okay. Yeah. You have a preferred okay. method of grafting. One that you Perfect. like more than others. I used to be a seamstress. When I started out, when I was his age, hands. I did uh, uh yard. I yes, always yard. did veneer. No, it's a hand. Um, and then I went through a bad patch of not having good success and, you know, started sacrificing chickens and doing whatever you could do to try to get better at it. Yeah. I didn't really say this. Say I, I just got real superstitious about it. Um, and then I switched over doing a lot of, of, uh, of clefts and then <laughs> went for years and years doing cleft grafts. And then I started doing <laughs> cleft grafts, leaving the leaves and putting them in a mist bed when I had mist beds at my disposal. Right. And that worked out very well. And then now I just do both based on the how big my budwood is. So I'll interchange Everybody all the time. Where do you get your roots? Um, so I rootstock is yeah. So what we do is when your when your kid comes home from college and and spends the summer, going to help you. You, uh, you definitely take advantage of that for, to put him to work because he likes to clean rootstocks for him. So what, but what do you, do you just grow seedlings from the turpentine tree or, or? Yeah. So I, I use for my main rootstock, I normally either use turpentine or I use, um, saber or I use piva. Or I use for my, for our Asian stuff, we use another rootstock that was called Sig Saput. And then, uh, and you just grow seeds. I didn't want to eat it if ever, I don't eat it. And right. you just grow seeds from the chicken uh -huh. So it's delicious. Thank you. But she shouldn't call it, she has to call it seed bread for your benefit, but phone the kids, you know. What is it? Bone the cage. She's bread, which is translates, but you know, doesn't sound as good in English. <laughs> it doesn't sound cool. Is that Portuguese? Mm -hmm. mm. So, the way rootstocks are always problematic is having good rootstock because I just, you know, you, you make, so we, we propagate all of our own trees, right? So that is a, that was a cleft. You can see the cleft wrapped on that one that I did. And typically, you know, clefts are 
they're they're good because once you do one clef graft, if it doesn't work, you can still okay. you can still do veneers and all that. Or but uh, I graft and I end up grafting a lot of these things multiple times. In fact, I I see that one was I tried to veneer that one before too. Um, also, if you're limited with grafting material, budding works. But you need to have a more controlled environment with budding because it's a lot more, you know, uh, careful because you're taking just one little bud from the leaf axle and putting that in. So if you have good control, like a greenhouse and mist beds and everything and good light control, budding works really well. But it's also kind of a pain, you know, if you have big fingers and shaky hands like me. I don't know. <laughs> so so the big the big problem on <clears throat> It goes back to the idea of knowing what you like to do, knowing your scale and knowing what you like to do, right? I hate being a nurseryman. It's just not, I, I was not born to be a nurseryman. So you it's don't just, sell trees, you sell mangoes. That's right. And it's just the way it is. I don't like making trees to sell to people. I like making my own trees. Right. Mm -hmm. But I just never got thrilled by being by being a nurseryman. It just didn't do it for me. 